this is probably a 16, 17 inch turtle. I mean, you can see it's almost as big as my torso. Right, guys so whoop. <laughs> stay right there so this is a video I've been wanting to kind of make since I have seen this kind of coming up lately with it turning into spring and that is how to tell a Florida cooter or any other cooter from a yellow-bellied slider and if you look these guys superficially are very very similar we're gonna flip them onto their back this doesn't hurt them one bit and we're gonna look at the plastron uh, because when you're identifying turtles, you're taking in a whole list of features. And superficially to most people, they both have a yellow belly. And uh, this is the yellow bellied slider. This is the Florida Cooter. And in the Florida Cooters, there's no pattern on the plastron. Um, you have some small smudges along the marginals here. You kind of see those going there. Um, but generally also in the Florida Cooter, Peninsula Cooter don't extend back to the rear legs. It does in some individuals, but this is actually a pretty typical individual here. Now, if you look at the yellow bellied slider, they have some smudges, usually focused on the forelobe of the plastron, and then they have smudges going around all of the marginals. And so, superficially similar, but still different. If we flip them back over and we look at the carapace, you know similar shape the yellow bellies typically are a little bit more circular um, they tend to have kind of less marginal and it kind of goes more straight down whereas the cooters the marginals kind of flare out a bit more um, and they tend to be kind of a bit more kind of a elongate shape if you look at them from the side whereas the yellow belly is kind of blocky from the sh from the side uh, one of my favorite ways to tell is looking at the rear marginals of the yellow belly, you see each scute has an indent in the middle and that gives that sawtoothed um, both appearance and texture. And it's actually, in some of them, it's actually pretty sharp. I've actually grabbed these before um, and cut my hand on these. Um, that sawtooth is not present in the cooters. And if they do have an indent, it's very, very slight, but for the most part, their scutes are straight on each marginal skew, so they don't have that serrated appearance. Another way to tell is the lower jaw looking straight on in the cooters is much more rounded. And you see the cooter does not have um, a major indent in the upper jaw. And if we go to the yellow belly, please show me your head. You can see there's an indent in the upper jaw. And if you were to look at the lower jaw, if, if she was more kind and stuck her head out more, you'd actually see that the lower jaw is actually a bit more flat. So those are kind of some easy ways to tell uh, between a yellow bellied slider and a Florida cooter. Um, I see a lot of people down in like South Florida taking peninsula cooters and even Florida red bellies and call them yellow bellies. And you know, while they are superficially similar basking turtles, they're actually different species, uh, different genus. Um, these guys are trachomies, these guys are pseudomies. And if you want to compare a river cooter, let's see if I can find a river cooter. All right, and so here we have two more cooters. On the left is the red bellied cooter, and on the right is a eastern river cooter. And with the river cooter and the red belly, uh, there's going to be even more features that separate them from the yellow belly. You notice this pattern on the carapace pretty much immediately, but um, we're going to do this under the assumption you don't always get to see the carapace. So if you look at the plastron on the river cooter, I mean, there is just dark pattern, both from, you know, the forelobe of the plastron all the way down to the back. Uh, the yellow belly slider does not have that. Um, heavy smudging on the underside of the marginals. And if you look, a much flatter elongate shape and that's because this turtle is made for going through very swift river current and anchoring down and feeding on vegetation on the bottom in shallow riffles and it's just easier for them with the water just kind of flowing over them also the head 
the yellow-bellied slider has a large blotch behind the eye and the cooters have uh, kind of wavy lines. Uh, it kind of varies in each cooter, but generally, you know, a wavy line like that. And again, you're not seeing a major indent in the upper jaw like you do in the yellow-bellied slider. This is an Eastern River Cooter, but I'll tell you what, this is probably a 16, 17 inch turtle. I mean, you can see it's almost as big as my torso. Next is the Florida Red Belly. And the neat thing with the Florida Red Bellies is they don't always have a red belly. Um, you can see this one, it's a bit more orange and sometimes later in the year, it'll get to a bit more of a coral pink color, uh, but you do immediately see the orangish red bars. And similar to the yellow belly, it has a patternless plash drawn and smudges on the underside. But typically a yellow belly is gonna have smudges on the forelobe of the plash drawn here. So this one is actually more similar to what we saw in the Florida Cooter. And at a distance, it actually is sometimes kind of difficult to tell this one from the Florida Cooter. This is the only turtle that's similar to the slider that actually has a major indent in the upper jaw. And they call those, uh, kind of those two little areas where it splits, they call those cusps. And the red bellies, both Northern Florida and Alabama all have that indented upper jaw with those cusps. The inside of their mouth actually has uh, really long, almost look like little teeth, and it's for serrated edges for cutting up plants. Uh, but they are just a gorgeous turtle. And these will get very thick. These will actually get thicker than the yellow belly. And it is theorized that that evolved in response to cohabitating with alligators and trying not to get crushed. So let this little girl go. So I hope this has helped. Um, always happy to share my turtles with you. Um, this time of year, we're gonna be seeing, you know, sliders and cooters and everything kind of crossing roads and beginning to nest, uh, lots of basking. And so if you are here in the US or even if you're in another country and you find one of these in a pet store or donated or something like that, and you have a hard time, um, hopefully this is a good reference point from telling the yellow-bellied slider from the Florida red belly, from the river cooter who's in the ferns, and then from the Florida cooter that we saw earlier. So hopefully this video helps. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Any other things I can say fast, I'll say them right here. So you guys take care, peace, and I will see you next time.